Welcome to Influence, the show about one of the university's founding colleges, the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. I'm your host, Emily Shaw. On today's episode, we'll be discussing the Fashion Design and Merchandising Program, and our first guest is Dr. Charles Freeman, an assistant professor in the School of Human Sciences. Welcome, Dr. Freeman. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We're excited to have you, and we would like for you to tell us a little bit about the Fashion Design and Merchandising Program. Okay. Well, our Fashion Design and Merchandising Program is housed in the School of Human Sciences. Mm -hmm. uh, we currently have around 140 undergraduates, and we just recently launched this year our master's degree Excellent. in Fashion Design and Merchandising. We have two concentrations in the area of design and product development, which focuses on more of the creative aspects and getting the product from idea and conception to consumer. And then we have our merchandising track, which focuses on the product after it's been created and carrying it to consumer and more of the business side of fashion. Excellent. One question we always get asked is, why is FDM housed in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences? And we know <laughs> why, but if you'd tell everybody else why. We get that question more than you can imagine. Um, you know, it's, it's very interesting when I talk to people, once I start to explain what we do in the fashion design mm -hmm. program, it kind of clicks for them and they get mm -hmm. that aha moment. They're like, ah, oh, that makes complete sense. Um, with the College of Ag and Life Sciences, one of the great things that we have is just a, a plethora of resources available to us that Excellent. do directly relate to our field from the very beginning of the supply chain. And you know, some exciting projects we've been working on recently. Uh, the first is our Sweet Potato Innovation Challenge mm -hmm. that we've partnered up with Extension. Um, as well as the College of Business, the College of Engineering, and the Center for Service Learning Excellence. Mm -hmm. And we've, there's an issue in, in Vardaman with cold sweet potatoes and a market loss value for this product. And right. we've been able to, to use our students' creativity and their product development expertise to come up with new ideas for how to use these products. And so last year we hosted our first uh, Sweet Potato Innovation Challenge trade show where students' teams worked with the Entrepreneurship Center as well as with the FDM program. And we had products, everything from 3D print materials made from sweet potatoes to a leather, a synthetic leather that was grown mm -hmm. from sweet potatoes uh, to a catfish feed. And so we were able to showcase those products um, for, the open, for the overall community. And that really gave a chance for our students to connect with agriculture. We do farm tours mm -hmm. with this program. Um, and we're able to get the students out and see real impact, what we're making with agriculture. Um, some other projects that we're working on, we are working with the Chemical Engineering, uh, School of Chemical Engineering on developing a polymer mm -hmm. out of cottonseed oil. So how do we use that for synthetic fibers and to create new synthetic fibers using an agricultural byproduct of cottonseed oil? Um, and then recently, this past summer, we were awarded a grant from the USDA and NIFA for 500000 to study the reduction of methyl bromide fumigation in the dry cured ham process. So <laughs> we've gone from sweet potatoes to cottonseed to ham, um, and how do we integrate these things into new product development? And a lot of these areas all have a textile or material component that we're able to contribute our expertise and assist with these different areas in agriculture. Excellent. I think you've done some additional work with cotton also and some farm to fashion. Do you want to share a little bit about that with us? Yeah, so we were uh, supported through the Importer Support Program of Cotton Incorporated and we were able to take students out to cotton farms and mm -hmm. to gins and to, to take our students out of the classroom and to mm -hmm. bring them out to the farmers and to these early supply chain partners and see what are the issues impacting them and how can our students who are at the end of the supply chain, sure. how can they help those people who are at the very beginning of the supply chain? And so we were able to create some innovative products, uh, host some amazing fashion shows. We've had great speakers come in through our Cotton Summit program um, and really connect the dots for the students, not only in fashion design and merchandising, right. but from ag economics to plant and soil sciences, um, entomology. And so we're able to really branch out beyond just what we do with clothing. That is excellent. Mm -hmm. The program has recently <coughs> attained some rankings. Tell us about yes. that. So for a long time, we've known what we do is, is great. Mm -hmm. And we have a great group of four faculty members who are constantly working to improve our students. We have an amazing undergraduate student body and wonderful administrators that have always helped and supported us. Um, and so we knew what we were doing is great, and it's great to now be recognized. In the past two years, Mississippi State has moved, our fashion design program has moved from being unranked to being one of the top 10 programs in the South, uh, both Excellent. in merchandising and a top five program in design. And we are in the top 50 nationally as far wow. as programs are concerned. And that so I'm getting a lot of calls now from new students and parents and recruits coming in who are saying, you know, hey, wow, you guys are really impressive. That's excellent. I know that y'all have also, as a faculty, taken a strong stance for study tours. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. So we feel that the international experience that our students get to have through our study tour program is invaluable to them. Mm -hmm. And in the past two years, we have grown our study tour imprints from 
you know, anywhere from 10 to 11 students that we're going to, I think last year we took 34 mm -hmm. students on our program and we usually do Europe uh, for our study tour and we, with support from the College of Agriculture Scholarship Program, we're able to take more students and students who probably couldn't afford to do study abroad, we're able to engage them in that experience and expand our global footprint from the FDM program. That's excellent. So what is the final takeaway for students interested in fashion design and merchandising? If you have a passion for what we do and you're interested in it, you're going to be really, really successful because we have an amazing support system in the College of Agriculture that, that helps you grow and you can grow into an area that, that is specific to you. And that whether it is from buying and merchandising and running your own business to creating designs and developing new products, um, we're able to provide that for students in a very unique, uh, customizable educational experience for them. That sounds good. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Thank Freeman. Thank you so much. When we come back, we'll hear from a student in the program. Everyone remembers their favorite teddy bear, the reassuring love of their first puppy. They comforted us and made us laugh. For children battling abusive situations or post-traumatic stress disorder, the memories aren't as pleasant. That's why at Mississippi State University, we're pioneering a robotic technology that brings healing to those exposed to traumatic situations. Known as Therabot, MSU's robotic beagle includes lifelike features that allow it to move in ways that are both natural and nurturing. Its ultimate goal? To bridge the gap between two types of effective therapy, using real animals and their plush counterparts for emotional assistance. At MSU, we're proud to be changing the game in therapeutic recovery, even prouder to be putting lives back together again. Flight. It's driven mankind's dreams for centuries. The ability to soar above the earth, to travel to faraway places, to connect distant points. Manned flights to the moon and space were once the stars for which we reached. Now, unmanned aircraft are the future. At Mississippi State University, our teams are developing unmatched unmanned aircraft systems for an array of critical applications. We're so good at it, the Federal Aviation Administration named MSU a center of excellence in the field, asking us to lead the team that's creating the operating regulations for unmanned aircraft systems worldwide. So essentially, we're writing the flight plan for an industry that is the future. Our work means better information, more opportunity, and limitless horizons for you. The sky really is the only limit. Welcome back to Influence. Our next guest is Gabrielle Martinez, a senior student in the Fashion Design and Merchandising program. Welcome, Gabby. Hi, happy to be here. Tell us about where you're from and how you got to Mississippi State and a fashion design and merchandising major. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I always knew I wanted to study fashion. Okay. I've always been into art and anything creative, but I also knew that I wanted to go to um, a school that could offer more as mm -hmm. far as on the business side and a larger SEC school. And whenever I toured Mississippi State, it was instantly home and I knew this is exactly where I needed to be. Excellent. I know that you're a design and product development concentration, but you're also getting a minor in marketing. How does that fit in with your curriculum? Um, I definitely think that uh, fashion majors, a lot of people just associate it with the creative side of fashion, mm -hmm. but the majority of it is the business side. Mm -hmm. To be a successful designer, you have to understand um, business. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to get a, a marketing minor so that I could have a better understanding and I could be a well, more well-rounded designer in that aspect. That makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. um, as part of your curriculum, you're required to take two four-credit internships, and I know that you've completed those. We'd love to hear about those experiences. Yes, so um, the summer of my sophomore year, mm -hmm. I was able to intern with a company called Camel and Beth, which mm -hmm. is um, a contemporary women's wear designer okay. located in Sarasota, Florida. 
And with that company, um, I chose her because her aesthetic was really similar to my own. Okay. And I knew that with a smaller company, I would be able to do a lot more than just okay. your typical go get coffee internship. So with her, um, she has a pretty small design team and I was able to pretty much get my hands on every aspect of the business as far as merchandising and design. And I was able to help her create her spring 17 line, wow. which was experience that I you know, it was just priceless because Absolutely. I got to see the entire product cycle as a sophomore and it really um, shaped what I wanted to do for the rest of my college career. I was able to tailor my education to the job that I wanted when I graduate. Excellent. And your second internship was a year later? Yes. About that, so please. my second internship was this past summer after my junior year mm -hmm. and it was with Vineyard Vines as a technical designer intern. Um, and Vineyard Vines being a very competitive company, I was really excited to get that internship and get that corporate experience. Mm -hmm. um, so there, as a technical designer, um, you're pretty much in charge of the pro production cycle and how things fit and samples. And um, because it was um, a corporate company, I was able to see many different aspects and understand that, that there are so many jobs in fashion that I even had no idea existed. Where are they located? Um, Stanford, Connecticut. Okay, so you mm -hmm. did a Southern and a Northeastern internship. Yes. That's excellent. I believe that you've competed in several competitions, at mm -hmm. least three, I think. So if you could tell us a little bit about that. Yes. So um, similar to what Charles was saying mm -hmm. earlier, there was the Sweet Potato Innovation Challenge, mm -hmm. and my team and I ended up winning that challenge because we had the idea of doing um, 3D printing polymer out of mm -hmm. sweet potato, so it would be biodegradable. Wow. And the polymer is basically just the ink for the 3D printer. Okay. Um, so we just wanted to make a biodegradable plastic. How many people were on that team? Three people. Okay. And then two other seniors in my program were Excellent. with me. And then um, I recently won the Alvinon half scale challenge. And a half scale is basically a dress form with the half dimensions. And so with that, um, I was inspired by Blades of Grass, and so it was very um, geometrical mm -hmm. <laughs> design. And so with that, I competed against students from Cornell and um, other competitive universities. Wow. And you won that one? Yes. Excellent. Um, you've also been able to attend the National Retail Federation Big Show Challenge, I believe, in New York City. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, I've been able to go to the Big Show two years in a row which has been an absolute wonderful experience. And this past year, I was the top 25 next generation finalist or semi-finalist. And that alone, just meeting executives and meeting students that I could network with um, has definitely shaped my career and given me contacts in New York and all over the United States that have just helped me and helped um, the students who have gone bring back stuff mm -hmm. to Mississippi State. That is excellent. Mm -hmm. So you're graduating in May. What are your plans? Yes. When I graduate in May, I plan to move to New York and I hope to be an assistant designer in women's wear. Excellent. Gabby, we're going to be proud of you and the path that you go on from here. Thank you for joining us on this issue of Influence where we found out more about the fashion design and merchandising program. We'll see you next time.